so I just made a friend I was having coffee and a bagel and I didn't record anything because like we're in like common areas you're not supposed to be like on your phone or like doing this you know what I mean because it like could maybe bother some of the other guests but um we just sat by the fire while the chickens tried to attack me for my bagel this morning and I'm having to like take a stick and like shoo them away um so we just talked for like an hour and she's really nice and Pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows we're the only ones up everybody else is still asleep it's still kind of early i think it's probably around 8 30 or so now i don't know i don't have a, a watch or a clock in here but um i would assume it's about 8 30 it's still really cool outside um it's like foggy still so before it gets too hot i want to start my adventures because yesterday it was so ridiculously hot um yeah and that's it hi chicky chicky So I came out here to smoke the people over in that red van. I just made friends with them. Um, they're both surf instructors and one lives in um, Cocoa Beach and the other one lives um, south more towards like um, Miami area. Um, and we're gonna like, they did yoga early this morning and I'm gonna teach them how to do the silks. The girl was trying to do the silks and she didn't know how to do it so I told her yeah I have I brought my silk like so I'm gonna show them how to do it um I my joint like kept going out because it was so little it was just a little roach so I think I'm gonna go back I'm gonna get a joint I'm gonna take this and go to the glass house and do some stretching um so yeah that's my plan I don't have a lighter. So yesterday I borrowed somebody's lighter and I lit this candle and I've just been carrying this candle around with me. So I met a friend, um, the, there's a girl and this guy that are from Florida, now this girl's name is Gina, and she later, we're gonna go out into the middle of the lake, um, kayak, go out into the middle of the lake, and we're gonna go do some yoga, I'm gonna teach the girl how to do the silks, um, I don't know if I'll record that, because I don't know how they feel about, like, being recorded or whatever, they're here to, like, get away oh and the girl she like this older man came up and she's like he's my spirit animal and he was saying he's um a tattoo artist and he's been tattooing for 23 years and he's like he comes here all the time i guess he lives right up the road and um he's gonna give one of the staff members a tattoo and i was like oh i was like i want to get a tattoo like i want this dude to tattoo me and um he was like yeah i can he was like but realistically like I don't want a line of people because I'm not really here to work like I'm here to like relax just like everybody else you know and I said yeah that's true I'm, I'm sorry I didn't even think about that like that was rude of me to just be like oh well I want one too you know and he's like no it's not rude of you it's fine but like I just don't want to get you know overwhelmed with stuff and like I already like work you know every day I don't want to like work while I'm trying to like relax you know and I was like yeah I totally get it so um, I don't know if I'll get a tattoo or won't get a tattoo, but if the universe says it should happen, then it'll happen. If not, then it won't, so, um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go down to the lake soon, as soon as I finish this, and, um, I don't think today that I'm gonna carry my camera around as much, just because, like, I don't want to have to carry something, so, we'll see how it all works out. In the art room, with her and her friend are in the art room because I'm gonna take them um, the coloring book and this thing of pins, all different color pins, so that they can do some art. 
I think the art room doesn't have like a whole lot of supplies. Um, and before I start my adventure, I just want to see like if they're close by so I can drop it off. I'm just gonna I have to just, I'll carry it with me in case I run into them. So um, in the meantime, I'm gonna take it with me and then I can do, I can sit down and like do some art whenever I want. Like, so I think I'm gonna carry it with me and if I run into them, then I'll just give it to them. So I'm gonna leave my camera here. Um, I just, I have to carry the jug of water, um, cause today, we, we, the two of us have like split off, we're doing our own thing, um, so I have to carry the jug of water and I'm gonna be carrying coloring book and pens and I only have two hands and a camera is a third item, so I'm just gonna enjoy nature, walk around looking up at the trees at the pine cones and looking down at the awesome like uh, carpet grass and the flowers and just like taking it all in and just like relaxing and breathing and like just getting in touch with nature. I'm like barefoot today. My feet are dirty. <laughs> dirty. <laughs> They're so dirty. Um, bye guys. I'll see you when I get back. Okay, so... We are going to walk to Louise's porch, my new friends, um, and I, because I started to walk over there earlier and I got a weird feeling, so I turned back um, and I didn't go down the trail, and I, uh, Gina and I, we were talking about it over by their vehicle. It was after lunch, when after I made curry. Um, she was like, oh, did you go down that trail? And I said, yeah, but I only went down like part way and then I came back because I had like a weird feeling. She said sh she did too, that she started to walk the trail and then she had a weird feeling so she turned back. And so we were just talking to one of the guys that works here and apparently that's Louise's um, porch, which it's um, a local, they were local people, they were the closest neighbors to the hostel and neither one of them could like read or write and um the only person that read in the house was the daughter who was blind and she used to read by braille and would then tell her parents like what it said so um we thought that that was like interesting so we're gonna go see louise's um porch and then we're gonna try to go to jekyll island so all right, I'm putting shoes on because I don't know if this trail is going to be paved very well or not. So. Cheese and chocolate. Working with different. Cheese and chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so this is the best way. You ready? All right. All right, so take two of these. Start to melt them in your mouth. Once they start to melt, grab like a pinch of cheese. And then eat the cheese. It's <laughs> <laughs> like a whole ordeal. <laughs> How is it? Delicious. Like it. Yeah, good. Like it mixes. Yeah. Like the sweet and salty. What the heck? Sweet and salty. <laughs> <laughs> like the whole sweet and salty mm -hmm. deal. Wow. Pretty yeah. amazing, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, it's true, like, Learning new things at the hostel. So good. <laughs> but it was freaking amazing when I tried it. Can really you do like three at a time? Sure. <laughs> I'm feeling wild. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like popcorn and you start out with just one and then it'll like <laughs> It's good like when it starts to melt bag. though, right? Because mm -hmm. it's like salty. Mm -hmm. And then like this balances it out <laughs> or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Cheese and chocolate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah. Tongue like love that sweet salty flavor. Mm-hmm. I like chocolate covered pretzels. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so like mm -hmm. salt and chocolate. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to Louise's porch.